Hey everybody, this is David Zito, and welcome to another video of Zito Home DIY. If you're new to this channel, this is where we show you how we improve our home from a beginner's point of view. So today, we're trying to relocate the litter box. It's a little bulky, it's in the way sometimes, but more importantly, Odin is beginning to crawl, and we don't want him anywhere near that stuff. So what we're planning on doing is converting this closet into essentially a cat outhouse. But not only that, we're gonna keep it practical by installing floating shelves so that we could still use it as storage. We're gonna cut out a cat door just so the cats can go in to use the litter box while at the same time keep Odin and our two dogs outside. But first, we gotta clean this closet out. All right, now that we're done clearing out the closet, we're gonna to go to the store to pick up some two by fours, plywood and white trim for the floating shelves. Let's go. The problem we have here is that we told them to cut the board in half. Now it's not going to fit the big shelf. So now we're going to have to make do with cutting smaller pieces and just fitting them together. Always remember to measure twice and cut once. Lesson learned. So I picked up one of these pocket hole jigs from the store. It's really nice because it hides the screws and makes the shelves look a lot cleaner. Now that we cut these 2x4s to length, we're going to install the big pieces first along the studs in the closet.
Should we be able to get out of there? That's a good question. <laughs> What we're going to use is this five millimeter thick plywood. It's going to be installed on the top and bottom of the shelf, and we're going to stain it a dark color to give it a nice pop. But first, we gotta trim it down to size. Didn't have room for the nail guy. <laughs> that would have been bad. Yeah. Good thing I did it longer. Because I was gonna do it shorter. Yeah. All right, we built up the top three shelves. Now we're moving on to the bottom shelf, which is a lot bigger. If we did it the other way around, it would have gotten in the way of building the top shelves. So it's always good to plan ahead. Okay, so the last thing we have to do now is to take down this door, cut a hole so our cats can go in and out of. Let's go! Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. And there you have it, the final product. All of the floating shelves are installed added boxes for organization, installed lights, and we made this shelf a little bit bigger because Blair was thinking of using this as a crafting table. But more importantly, if you follow me below, and this is where we keep the litter box. It gives the cats a little bit more pooping privacy. The cats have no problem going in and out of this cat door. It could be bigger, but that can be fixed at a later date. It keeps Odin and the dogs out, and best of all, it's out of the way. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe so you can keep up with all the new videos that are coming out. 
All of the items that we used in this project will be linked down in the description below. And that's all we have today. Please catch us in the next video. Be safe, take care. Oh, there's cat litter everywhere.